Hello, you're watching Demo to IP, the epitome training series that jumpstarts your HD demo system IP solution. This is session three. In this video, we're going to install a SIP trunk and make a PSTN call. Making a PSTN call on a PBX requires a trunk. There are three types of trunks that can be configured on the epitome pure IP platform. Analog trunks, digital PRI trunks, and digital SIP trunks. Plain old telephone service lines or analog lines are still widely used and therefore must be accommodated in IP telephony. However, this media is very dated, and since the IP platform is all digital, POTS lines must be converted to digital to be connected to the IP PBX. We'd like to take note at this point that we do not recommend analog trunks. The reason is clear when we review the history and the current situation that has become POTS lines. When telephones were first deployed, there was a copper pair from the central office to the subscriber called the local loop. Over time, this was optimized and digitized to allow for more subscribers over the same cable pairs and longer local loop lengths. Pair gain devices and digitization in many forms replaced the local loop to the extent that the local loop looks more like a Rube Goldberg drawing than an actual cable pair. These conversions and reconversions equate to multiple points of failure and impose service performance issues that do not exist in all digital circuits. We suggest referring to the information available at Sandman.com when deploying analog trunks. This chart was derived from Sandman.com and is used to test CO line circuits. The testing and retesting of quote copper circuits should be understood to be an ongoing support issue. PRI, or primary rate interface trunks, are the most advanced form of legacy trunk circuit and are tried and true digital media. PRI has the advantage of being capable of many features that are available in IP telephony and, of course, of being digital. PRI is a guaranteed service. That means that the bandwidth, although small by today's standards, must be available at the point of presence as a guaranteed service of the provider. PRI requires a dedicated termination at the point of presence. SIP trunks are the next generation of digital trunks. They are packet-based and TCP IP protocol circuits. SIP trunks can be deployed without the barriers associated to analog and PRI circuits since they can be provisioned at any point of presence assuming enough bandwidth exists for the call traffic volume anticipated. For the best SIP trunk experience, use reliable service providers with a good reputation. Vintalk provides SIP services that are reliable and have redundancy with multiple servers. Since the Epitome platform is entirely SIP, that's what we're going to deploy on the demo system. We're going to contact our SIP trunk provider and then order a SIP trunk and install it on the system. Then we'll make a PSTN call. To get a sample SIP trunk, navigate to the Vintalk website at www.vintalk.com and find the One Free Month of Vintalk button. You'll be directed to a form page where you enter your specific information, including your email address. Check your email for the Vintalk Trial Trunk Agreement form, fill it out, and send it in. When your SIP trunk trial agreement is accepted, you'll receive another email with the details of your SIP trunk. This information includes everything you need to make your SIP trunk functional. There are two types of SIP trunk registrations, authenticated and IP-based. Authenticated trunk registrations authenticate based on identification and passwords. IP-based trunk registrations authenticate based on the originating IP address of the point of presence. We recommend IP-based registrations for all permanently installed locations because it eliminates many forms of rogue use attempts. For this video and our demo system, we have ordered an authenticated trunk since this demo PBX will be mobile and used in many locations. Once the trial trunk email is received, we'll navigate to the PBX and install the trunk. First, we'll look at the email that we received when we ordered the SIP trunk for this video. Now just navigate to the PBX under Providers, SIP Providers, and click Add Provider. We need to name this provider so that we can use it in other places in the PBX database. So to keep it simple, we're going to name it Vintalk. NY, since our service is being provisioned from the New York server. The host is the IP address or domain name of the SIP host. To make sure that I've inputted correctly, I'm going to use the Windows cut and paste function and go to the email and highlight the SIP server, copy it, 
and paste it into the PBX database host parameter. Vintalk has made it convenient for me to locate help to assure that I set this trunk up correctly. I'm going back to the email where I can find the link to the setup guide that they've made available on their knowledge-based website. For the custom registration line, I can go to the bottom of the guide and copy the line as a template for pasting into the database and then replace each data component with the actual data. This custom registration is not required in IP-based registrations. Since ours is authenticated, it will require specific criteria for me to input before using the trunk. Here again, I'm going to use the Windows cut and paste function to assure that I've input the information correctly. Looking down the email, we can easily find the specific information that we'll need to authenticate our trunk connection. Now I'm using the information from the email and guide available at Vintalk.com to set the various parameters that Vintalk requires for authenticated trunk registration. Using this information, I'm going to go line by line and assure that I have set the parameters that they require. I requested a DID number from Vintalk in addition to the main telephone number associated to the SIP trunks. I input that DID number in the box above the Add button and then click Add to activate this DID. Once DID is in the active list, I can select it and pick a PBX destination for the DID. When the destination is selected, click Set. Save Changes is the means of saving your work in progress. When all database work is complete, click on the Apply Changes link at the top right of any of the web GUI pages. Now that we have a working trunk, we will have to designate how it will be used by the extensions and resources of the PBX. Navigate to Call Routing, Outgoing. In this area, you can see what has been predefined by Epitome. You can add routes as needed, but for our purpose, we need only to select the newly registered trunk for use with the various call types. When the route is opened, the existing trunks to be used with the route are shown. Use the drop-down list to find and select the Vintalk trunk, then click Add. In this case, the routing of 10-digit dialed numbers requires a modification before the dialed digits are sent to Vintalk. Looking again at the email, we find that the digit pattern expected at Vintalk is 1 plus for long distance calls. This means that although users may dial only 10 digits, the PBX must insert a 1 before the actual digits dialed prior to sending this call to Vintalk for processing. Do this by selecting the Vintalk trunk from those activated in the route and then add the digit 1 to the prefix digit parameter. Notice that this is done for the trunk, not for the route so calls routed by this route will only have this modification when the Vintalk trunk is used. We have already enabled incoming calls by simply adding the trunk to the PBX. It will ring to the main menu or automated attendant. Notice, however, that the DID numbers are also listed in call routing incoming. The DID number is under the header for this provider. Note that the header is the ring destination of any call not specified below the header. That is, all calls incoming from this provider will route to this destination unless otherwise defined below. Now we're just going to check on the status of the SIP trunk. Navigate to Reporting, Monitoring. When the database is queried the PBX, the status of the registered devices and resources will be displayed. Notice that our SIP trunk, Vintalk New York, is listed and shows an excellent connection.